Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to this week's Yarn Adventures Catch Up. It's Sunday afternoon. It's not as late as it looks. It's very dark outside. We've had constant rain and wind for the last few days, so we're all going a bit inbound stir crazy. So right now, all three of us are in separate rooms doing our own thing. So first of all, Welcome to those new subscribers. We've had a bit of a spike in subscribers and it's great to have you join me. I hope you enjoy my podcasts and my yarn adventures. Um, I'm Judy and my channel is a bit of everything. It's about knitting, crocheting, hopefully one day sewing. I like to travel, gardening, you name it. Sometimes I'll talk about it. So if that's your thing, I hope you stay with us and enjoy it. So, what have I been up to? Well, you if you've been with me for a while, and thank you to those loyal subscribers who um, gave me a lot of positive energy about my burnt fingers. They're getting better slowly. Um, had a bit of a setback. I don't know if you can see. This one got a little infection, and so did where the coffee pot hit me. Got a bit infected, which made some crafting difficult, but I am getting there. In the end so first of all I have a gift that was sent to me I would like to share with you so let's get my iPad up and running see if it will um, work for me today you can hear the rain building up outside if we lose internet that's just the way it goes during the rainy season okay so through my Ravelry wish list from a lovely subscriber who has bought me patterns before, they picked one of my patterns and sent it as a gift last week, which brightened my day as soon as my burnt fingers on my right hand were giving me grief and I couldn't craft much. So here it is. It is very cute. It is the sea otter family. Ta -da. I hope that doesn't flare. Look at those. An amigurumi pattern by Spinner Yarn Crochet. It was, as I said, in my favourites list. I am looking forward to making it. However, I cannot get chocolate brown here and I have none in my stash. So unfortunately, I may have to order some yarn. That's really sad, isn't it? Aren't they cute? I love sea otters. Polar bears are my favourite, but um, recently... Reeves and I have been watching like this YouTube channel that's always live on sea otters. I think it's Monterey Aquarium, these three sea otters. Um, when I'm at work and I want to relax a bit, I'll watch the sea otters. A lot of times we check they're asleep, but I think the sea otters have become my second favourite animal after polar bears. To the loyal subscribers, she knows who she is. Thank you so much for buying the pattern. Um, really thoughtful of you and certainly made my week so that was my gift I received now finished objects a b c d e f g of cows yes I do a lot of cows I join a lot um, make alongs if it suits me I'm going to jump in and do it and uh, probably too many so if you knew and you want to join in some cows or make alongs stay tuned my first finished object is something you're going to have to guess what it is. So I'm doing Amigurumi Wars 2023 with Y.O.H Crochet Anita and February's Amigurumi was had a feature designer and she had some of her patterns on sale and I bought a pack where you could get three patterns. It was a good value. I can't remember what I paid on Etsy. So I've made one of them. Now you have to remember I had sore fingers. Here it is. What do you think that is? Ta da! Well, Thing thought it was an alien. The arms are sticking out a bit more than they should. It should be more like that. Reeves thought it was, what did he think it was? It wasn't a pig, that was his second choice. Oh, he thought it was a cow because it was pink. And his second choice was a pig. Oh, no, it's not those. 
his third choice was correct, but I don't think it looks like what it's supposed to be. What do you think it is? Well, there were three patterns. One was a cow, one was a dragon, and one was a hippo. And it is supposed to be my hippo. No, it's not the pattern. It's me. I don't do amigurumi. I haven't done very many with fine yarn. And this is like a, a sport weight yarn, a five ply yarn. And plus my fingers were sore. As things said, what's wrong with it is the head didn't quite turn out square. He would, see if I do that, you can sort of see it a bit. It went a bit round. Anyway, I had a go and it is a paid for pattern by the featured designer. Now, if you want to check out the featured designer, go over to y.o.hcrochet, Anita. She recently, might have been yesterday, day before, put out a video reviewing the featured designer. I'll put a link to the video in the description below. Check it out. This designer has some great patterns and lots of them. I think Etsy, I'm not sure if they're on Ravelry. But anyway, make sure you go to Anita and check out her review of the feature designer. She made some of her patterns. Anita is far more talented at amigurumi than me. So that's my first finished object. My hippo that looks like an alien or a cow. But anyway, I had a go. So... My second finished object and cow, of course, is the Bago Day Had a Palooza. I said it. If I say it quickly, I get it right. Now, because my fingers were sore, I missed a week and I had to play catch up this week. And the week I missed, it was 769 headband. And it's a headband um, for Crystal at Bago Day and her daughter, um, Evelyn Rose. It is a beautiful headband, and I did make one. Ta-da! Here's my headband. Now, I did plan to make two, but my hands were too sore. I was going to make a child's one. But there you go. This is made with um, Premier Everyday Anti-Pilling. I've had this yarn for quite a while. I still have three skeins of it left. Um, it is... I don't know why I take my glasses off. It is... The colourway, dun, 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 if I can find a colourway, <laughs> made in Turkey, dun, 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 colour, antique lavender. There you have it. It's got some lavender in it and greens. And I decided I'd make a headband with it. I still have three skeins. I shot my stash for this little headband. So there's... That was the week I missed due to my fingers. And then this week it was um, Tutorial 772. It's a scarf and hat set. I've only done the hat. I wouldn't mind having go a go at the scarf. And I've made this to go into Zeta's calendar cow for February, which is Black History Month, I think. Anyway, looking at the colours in the picture, that's what I did. And I've made it here. On this one, it's a little slouchy because she's got a small head. but um, And on me, it's a little slouchy. And I did make it bigger. But, yeah, that was the uh, hat from the hat and scarf set, which was, I'll leave the glasses on, 772. They both turn out really well. I like this. I really do. That's why I'm, I thought, you know, I wouldn't mind doing a scarf. I made this in Spotlight um, USA style Super Saver, which is a full weight yarn. The actual tutorial is for a bulky yarn, but she does tell you the multiple to be able to do it. And look, it worked out fine. So that is finished object number two. I didn't mention the Amigurumi Hippo. I made it out of, it's really hard to get five ply um, knitting cotton or crochet cotton here and sport weight yarn but I had this cotton tone in my stash that's why it had to be pink or navy and the navy was too hard on my eyes so I used this so so far I've just been shopping my stash for these cows and finished objects so the next up is 
make alongs that just progress for a number of weeks or however long. So first off the ranks is I am doing luck of the draw number seven with Nan's next knots. Make sure you check out her channel. The tutorials, the patterns, the channels I mentioned will all be listed in the description below for the newbies in case you want to click on them and check out the links. So luck of the draw number seven is living in this uh, bag port art post that I got from Colleen, my subscriber in Adelaide with all the butterflies and flowers. I put it in this one and in here. I haven't shown it, I don't think, since I showed you the colours and the beginning of it. And I think we're up to about week four and maybe week five is coming up. But there it is. My luck of the draw lap gown. Probably best if I hold it that way. Um, I like the way these colours are coming out. I'm not a fan of all these greens, but they are coming together really well, especially as the luck of the draw, they're coming out in a great order. Now, this is Ocean Waves, a bag of day tutorial. I really like this. I like the fact that I get straight sides. And yes, it is awesome pattern because it's both sides. And this will be perfect for me to donate to charity. I'm just using Spotlight Marvel 8 Ply, local yarn here. And the border is in a Red Heart Soft, which is an 8 ply, which tends to be a little bit smaller to the Marvel, but it tends to pull the blanket in nicely. So that is my luck of the draw seven. Haven't finished, more cows. <laughs> So this is, next one up is a scrappy blanket. I am making for Soxy Nana Scrappy Make Along 2023. And I'm going to just do a bit each month. It's a knitted blanket and I made magic balls. There's different colors. And this, that's ball number two. That's what's left of ball number one. And I'm doing the lily. There's a pattern for this. There it is. Lily scrappy blanket and I'm doing it on a 3.75 knitting needles circular needles and last time I showed you but if I show you this way I forgot to put my needle ends on again it was January finished about there where the snowman is and now that's what I have managed for February from about there to there I don't think I'll get any more done for February because I have something else on the go that I want to get finished. But that is my scrappy knitting blanket for charity. I'm really liking the way the colours came out in the Magic Ball. Because I can't remember what I did. I don't even know what's after the green. So there you go. That is my scrappy blanket for the Soxy Nana's Scrappy Make Along. Now, I'll just check my notes because I can't remember what I've got on. That's about it. I have been knitting, trying to knit a mystery knitting project that I'll share with you when it's finished. I didn't want to jinx myself. It's been quite the ordeal to do, as in it's really testing my limits. And burning my fingers didn't help. It's supposed to be finished by the 28th of February for the make along, but it ain't gonna happen. Um, when I started it, I didn't think I would uh, because I knew it was quite involved for me, but I was progressing really well and I really was enjoying it and thought I could have this finished by February the 28th. Well, it ain't gonna happen. But when it's finished, I'll do a standalone video for my mystery um, knitting project because I will be really proud of it. Tonight, I'm not cooking. Um, Reeves is cooking. Um, it's giving me the night off so I can work on this knitting project and get as much done before February the 28th so I can post a picture. And I've spent a bit of time today with all the rain sitting in here, hiding away, knitting. It took me two hours to knit two rows. Either my brain's not with it or I'm just slow. Anyway, guys, that's all I've really been up to. Most of these little projects that I showed you were done in my lunch hour at work or when in, uh, my fingers were hurting too much for knitting. For some reason, 
My burnt fingers hurt more knitting than they did crocheting. But I've had a lot of fun and I hope you've enjoyed my finished objects. Let me know what you're up to. I have started my 100 day project. It's a knitting blanket by Stem West, um, the jigsaw blanket. And I will show you that in the next video. Um, I've done sufficient, like three, uh, I think it's like um, five to 10 minutes a day. And I have worked on that because it's just garter stitch. And, it, and the sections of it are quite small that I'm working on at the moment. But hopefully I'll show you that next week. So what have you been up to? Are you joining me in the 100 day project? Um, someone has posted in, um, on the Facebook group the start of their 100 day project, Suzanne, I think it was. And that's been awesome. I've loved seeing that. Um, if you're new to the channel, yes, we have a Facebook group which is private and you don't have to be in the make-alongs just to post pictures. You can post pictures of any of your craft artwork. We just ask that you keep it nice and positive, not negative. Anything, sewing, knitting, crocheting, diamond painting, cross stitch, anything you'd like to share with us, any tips to do with that, you're more than welcome to join the group. And you can follow me on Instagram too. There is a list of heaps of things you can check out in the description below what I get up to. But that's it for me today. Um, I am going to sit and relax and try and knit a couple more rows on this big project. I do like it. It has been a real strain sometimes, but I do like it and it will be for me. And there's a reason it has to be finished by August at least for me. Anyway, until next time, stay safe, stay well. Make sure you check out a bag a day tutorial. There are heaps, absolutely heaps, and even beginner ones. And don't forget to check out YOH Crochet's review on our featured designer for Amagurumi 2023, because I certainly didn't do it justice. Bye for now.